Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff the Maniac here and welcome to another satisfactory video. Today we are going to be working on our coal production. I finally unlocked those in my space elevator. And I did some research too, so got quite a bit to go. Sorry I'm a little bit out of breath, I was just running around. But I wanted to record a video. Now, my factory, completely at a standstill. Don't have a ton of material. I'm going to be reworking that probably later after the video, after we get our coal production and everything set up, after we get that kind of energy going. And I just didn't feel like refilling the bio, bio, uh, biomass generators, so that's why factory is at a standstill right now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I had to go and get a drink of water real quick because of how out of breath I was. Feeling a little bit better now. Uh, we still got those biomass things going, I think. It's not really doing anything because that's not getting fed, so it's just going to be sitting with smoke going I don't think I don't think it burns the fuel if there's nothing if there's no water going through so don't really got to worry about that now as for my research I do a lot when I'm not recording just so I can have stuff ready to go for you guys for next time but as for research I got most of my alien stuff done this I gotta wait till I can craft the whatever the hell those are the staters and whatever the hell that is, I don't know what that is either. But whoops, I didn't mean to exit out of it. But I want to get this. I haven't found any mycelium yet, but I think that's only in the caves. Which I have not found any caves just yet. And I keep exiting out of it. And then I have my inventory slots unlocked. I got my rebar gun. As you can see that I've been holding. And I got the spike rebars and stuff like that. All my flower petals are done. They fixed the update today. So there's color cartridges. And for nutrients, I got the nuts, pale berries, and shrooms going. I gotta wait till I can make steel stuff for the steel pipes to finish that out. And for slugs, all I need is a purple slug. But purple slugs are probably like all the way up there, which I'm probably gonna wait till I unlock the jetpack. I don't feel like ramping all the way up there right now. So that's pretty much caught up on everything I got done. Um, I need to grab my rotors. I have a handful of them somewhere. I thought I did. Oh, I have one on me. Where the hell did my rotors go? That's a color gun. And... Give me one second, everyone. Uh, not, I, wow. Can I learn to speak today? I gotta go find my rotors because for rotors we need that for the generators. Yeah, I had, a, I had like 40, so I was gonna make like three generators. Okay, there we go. I had to go ahead and make a bunch of wires too, and I had to make those rotors. Now that I think about it, I think the rotors, I used them to finish some of the research. Now, that's another thing with the green power slugs, I think it is. Or no, yeah, green. On the second tier for that, you no longer need power shards to collect it, uh, or to research it. Before, you needed like 20 shards or something ridiculous like that. Now I just take some parts and stuff like, uh, I think it's like plates, nails, and something else maybe. I can't remember the parts, so don't quote me on that, but I have a, two coal deposits right here, so we're going to be doing two generators. Uh, let's see, minor one. Let's just have it point, or, hmm, let's have it point towards each other. Let's try that. Maybe we'll have them combine. It's going to go over here and then I'm going to make like a row of coal generators. We're just going to have a row of them. I think I did that on my last uh, videos of it when I was playing this about, about uh, several months ago. But got those going. Now where are we going to be putting these generators? We don't want them too far. We might put them right over here for the generators. We don't want them too far away from... The miners just to uh, be more efficient, or should we put them up here, or down here might work. Uh, let's get our foundation. Let's get the big foundation actually. I think it's gonna take two foundations to do it. Let's try this. Oh, 
Like I said, we're only putting a couple of them for now. I only have enough for th three uh, generators of power. Ooh, it's gonna take three. Damn, these are huge. I think these, I don't know, I might, I might be just think, thinking about random stuff. I think it looks different, I don't know. It's been a while since I played, so you know. I didn't really play much uh, when I played before. I think I only made it to Cole, so. Here's um going farther. I'm definitely gonna need to get set up some kind of concrete factory soon, just so we have unlimited concrete to work with. But the main reason I want to get this going is so we don't have to really worry about fuel or stuff going out and losing power. Uh, let's make it. Just to give me some room to walk on. Whoa! Speaking of concrete, we're gonna need some more. I know my concrete one's out of power too, and that's almost out of concrete in general. Well, why is there two? Why does it need pipes or? Do you need water to make it now? You know what, I guess we're gonna find out, unless... If so, I do, I'm able to make the, uh... <coughs> if it does need water, I am able to make the water extractor because I do have a bunch of the stuff for it we're gonna find out um let's go ahead and to get these miners started we're gonna have to start with them with biomass generators alrighty so I just looked it up and I was looking at the patch notes and yeah it needs a steady water supply now <laughs> So definitely a lot, little bit more work than uh, what we're normally used to with the coal generators than what I remember. So I'm gonna go ahead and go go, go ahead and grab the uh, what is it? What is it called? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab these uh, metal things or the copper things that I already made a ton of. Now we're gonna. I think there's a water source over there. I hope there is, and we'll use that for the generators.
Alrighty, so I think I did that right. That actually took quite a while. Uh, there probably is a time lapse of me when I finally started working with the pipes because that was a lot of fun working with these pipes. But I just put a second uh, water extractor in here and I think that's pumping into that. I hope it is. Unless I got to put it in through the top, I think it's working. And my pipes are filled with water. So now we just gotta head back to our coal factories and uh, connect the pipes and see if it's working. If so, we can start hooking up power lines to get our, I think I'm gonna hook up these to the power lines first. I think we're gonna end up calling it a day. I gotta work on my other factories to get my production back up and running. But I'm really happy I spent time doing this today. It's been a lot of fun working with these pipes and learning how to use them. I guess you use them for nuclear, nuclear generators and all the other big equipment too now. So I can't wait to further get out further down the line and start playing with the pipes a lot more. Okay, we're back at the coal area. The purpose of this thing is it's supposed to push water up further. Doesn't look like water's reaching it though. Let's see. Maybe I need to put it down further down. Let's try that. I'm new to this. I'm trying to do it with, on my own too, just so you guys know. Uh, get a power going. Unless you do it on the straight edge, that's already full. Whoa, getting a little laggy. My computer hasn't had a break today, so that's probably why. Okay, that's completely full. That's filling up. I might need to put a second one. Let's go up here and see if it's reaching the top yet. We might need to put another one of those. It's getting water up here. I might put another one just to be safe. There we go. And when I get these going, it'll be better. And this is full of water, very nice. Let's just get one more, because that's all I have, for, I have room for. Well, enough. Oh no, I have rotors. I need rotors. There. Whoops, gotta craft them real quick. I went ahead and just. Threw down a bench right here just to get it out of the way. There we go. Oh. I'm gonna have to make one more platform this way if I wanna walk easy. Uh, power, coal. How does it look right there? I think it should be fine. So what I want to do is I want another pie form so the coal can come up here and go down the line and just split into each generator. And it's already easy for the water, obviously. Uh, seven. And then we just need another splitter. How did I mess that up? There we go. Six. 
Uh, let's go ahead and get that foundation out. Hannah's filling! I'm so proud of myself that I got through it. You guys have no idea. Um, what am I gonna do with this? Let's go ahead and get another foundation. How's it going? And we're gonna wanna split them off. It's under logistics. There we go. That should be good, right? No, if that's man, I hate how it locks on to other things sometimes when you're doing this. Splitter. Let's get to the very end. There we go. That works. Need another one of those. It's in my head, not in my heart. Bouncing thoughts from wall to wall. Sorry, getting a little bit tired now. I've been playing this for all day, so just trying to finish up. There we go. No, that messed up. Um, there we go. No, what? What is it? Oh, it's locking onto the middle. What the hell? There we go. And where's the power connected to this? Is it on the front end? I think it is. Yes it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these foundations out. Power cables going. Just to the corner of this fight right there. Oh no, what the hell? Directly in the middle, so it'll be like. I'm trying to make it as even as possible. There we go. And how much power wattage is that putting out? 150 capacity, very good. So that's just enough to wire up my generators and uh, water extractors. Or not the generators, the uh, miners. There we go. Okay, there we go. My uh, miners over here and my water extractor are no longer running on biomass generators. They're running on these two coal generators. They have water going and it's completely full up. I have these two merging on so we'll never run out of coal or we shouldn't have issues with that. I don't know. I don't think that's as productive having them merge, but whatever. Maybe when I make a ton more, maybe we'll just have two separate ones. Um, but this is all we're gonna do for today. This was 
this video I've been recording for 90 minutes now <laughs> but I'm so glad I learned how to do those pipes that was actually a lot of fun doing something different and yeah hope you guys enjoyed uh, probably between now and next video I will be working on getting my factory back up and running and getting it how I want it to be which I gotta dismantle a few things but I figured out that you can actually use dismantle and control to dismantle multiple things at the same time so I'm glad I figured that out but anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to check out future content, make sure you click subscribe. And if you like the content, subscribe. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Until next time, remember to change that rule one smile at a time. You never know who's like a savor change. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace out, everyone.